One of our dental colleagues reached out for some help. Since it's a highly relevant question, I decided to answer it via reel so that everyone benefits. Save it and share it. First principle. In generalized attrition, diagnosis and occlusal scheme comes before material selection. You are usually dealing with high functional parafunctional loads, reduced tooth structure, often reduced vertical dimension of occlusion or an altered VDO. So you must first stabilize the VDO with mock-up, provisionals and splint, occlusal scheme, whether anterior guidance, mutually protected or in group function, parafunctional control usually with a night guard. Material choice is then about strength at minimum thickness, wear on the opposing enamel, risk of chipping or catastrophic fracture. Next question. So, which is best for generalized attrition? If you simplify it for, let's understand. For single crowns in a generalized attrition or a high load case, for posterior teeth, which is the most common scenario, polished monolithic zirconia is usually the first choice. High strength at low thickness, preserves whatever little tooth structure is left, no veneer chipping, enamel wear is equal to or less than natural enamel when properly polished, less than porcelain or PFM. Anterior teeth with severe wear, monolithic or minimally cut back zirconia has shown good survival in severe wear cases. If top end aesthetics is needed, a layered zirconia or PFM is still acceptable, but you must protect them with a night guard and carefully design guidance to reduce chipping. For bridges, fixed prosthesis, short span posterior fixed prosthesis, which is three to four units, monolithic zirconia performs similar to metal ceramics in survival with fewer veneer chipping issues because there is no veneering. Again, design is the key. Adequate connector height to thickness ratio, broad contacts and controlled occlusion. For long span cantilever fixed prosthesis or extreme bruxers who destroy everything, here, a PFM with metal occlusal, full metal DMLS or cast core ball chromium framework is still the most conservative and time-tested choice because of ductility and toughness of metal. Ability to thin the occlusal sections further in very limited spaces, long history of success in such abuse cases. Hope that helps. Don't forget to save it. Don't forget to share it. Let everyone benefit. Take care.